You know, one of the coolest things about fall is the fact that the foods change, right? And we've talked about this before, but here's the deal. For me, fall is all about those game day appetizers and comfort food. And today's episode, I think we have a dish that is a little of both, and I think you're gonna like it. The dish we're gonna make today is a sausage beer cheese soup that also works as a dip. And to go along with that, we're making some country style pork ribs that are the bomb. All right, let's start. We start real simple. Just gonna grab a piece of tin foil. I think we're gonna have two pieces of tin foil, but we're just doing these ribs, right? And these are good looking ribs. I got some bone in them, but that's a good looking rib. Now we've got the fire department on the way, I like it. Let's just put these down like that. And I've got some butter here. And I'm going to take about a quarter thing of butter. Cut it in half. So it's like half of a quarter. Throw it on. Throw some salt down on this. Wrap it up. See? Perfect. We're going to do this again. Perfect. Now we have two things of ribs and they're going down on the gas grill. Put them down like that and they're going to go on for about an hour and then we're going to check them out. For our sausage beer cheese soup, we start with about a pound of sausage and some onions. So I'm just going to put the onions in first. Ah, hell, I'll just dump them all in. I can't really tell you how much I have in there of onions, but that's enough. Take our sausage, put it down. Now I'm going to mix, mash it up a little bit. Just kind of helps everything kind of come together a little better. Now I also have some garlic powder. I'm going to throw some in. Give it a nice stir. Excellent. Let's put this down on the heat and start cooking it up. Our sausage and onions are looking good. Look to be cooked. I'm going to add a little oil to this. Just for lubrication. Because the next thing that's going down cream cheese and this is about one thing of cream cheese we're going to give this a few minutes because it's already at room temperature but i just want the cream cheese to kind of just melt into our sausage and then we're going to add the next ingredient well as you can tell our cream cheese is really melted in with everything else we're going to add some jalapenos and then we're going to add some green chilies. Mix them all up in there. I just want everything to fuse together. And that's the whole key to it. Just letting everything fuse together. Bye. So now I'm just going to pour in some, some chicken broth. And I'm just, I've got this container of it, but I'm only going to put in about six to eight ounces. And of course, if we need more, we can always adjust. And if we have too much, we could always put flour in here. Well, I think it's time for the next ingredient because, well, this is bubbling. Pour beer in. I'm going a whole beer. Just using a light Pilsner. Now this is definitely gonna have to heat up because that beer has been in the refrigerator. So we're going to let this thing kind of cook down, heat up a little bit, and then it's time to wrap it up. The next part of this is just some whipping cream. I'm going to just throw in about a half of one. And now the cheese, and we're using sharp cheddar for this. Dump the whole container in. But wait, there's more. Mm. 
ribs have been on for an hour. Take a look at that. Wow. Amazing. But just look at that. <laughs> That's killer. These things are so tender. Put these down like this. Time to finish these things up. Now Mrs. Dude is just gonna want hers pretty much naked like this. Yes, I said naked with some barbecue sauce. But for me, we're going with Rick's Texas barbecue, Texas beef and hog, Galindo's. Yeah, good coating. All right, let's let these things cook. Well, we're about 10 minutes into this. Let's give them a flip. Flame on. Great look. Looks amazing. Love that sizzle. Check out Mrs. Dudes. Nice. Excellent. This is getting so close to being done. I think the next flip. All right, while well, our ribs are done and our soup is done, it's time to plate these up. But before we do that, I am getting out the fine china for you guys. It's actually what my grandma calls it. She's 97 and when you go to visit her, that's what you get. I don't blame her. You know, 97 years old, I don't blame her one bit. There's our soup. And by the way, I did not have to add any flour to this to thicken it up. I just let it work its magic. But if you wanted it thicker, of course, you just add flour. Let's take our ribs off. Mrs. Dudes first. Looks awesome. Yeah, those look great. Time for El Deuterinos. These look amazing. Awesome. All right, now one of the keys to any kind of meat is letting it rest. And we're gonna give this about 10 minutes because what's happening is inside of this meat, the temperature is still coming up. So we want it to just kind of let it finish its thing and then start coming down just a little bit. We went over 165. Matter of fact, every one of these pieces of meat was over 172. 165 is the minimum that you want when it comes to pork. Same with chicken. So at least that's my standard. It's been 10 minutes. Are you ready to try this stuff? Now, I'm gonna try these individually first. And then I got a little cool thing I wanna show you. Because when I made this last time, it worked out great. Zoe, get out of here. Go lay down. Thank you. Sorry. Ah, get our ladle. Go deep down to the bottom of this. Mm, yeah. I'm going to add a little smoked paprika to the top. Just gonna give it a little extra flavor. Some people don't like it. That's cool. Don't put it on if you don't. But let's try it. Mm. I've died and gone to heaven. Holy moly. There's a place in McCall, Idaho called McCall Brewery that makes a beer cheese soup. And this is just as good, if not better. You really get the flavors out of it. You get the beer, the cheese, oh, the sausage, everything. You do. You just do. The texture is perfect. There's nothing hard about it. It's just comfort. 100% comfort. Got to have another bite. Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. And those onions in there. Mm. All right. 
Here's our country style pork ribs. That's a good one. I'm just gonna tear it off. Look at that. It just pretty much just tears right apart. So I'm gonna take this end piece. That's awesome. Mm hmm. Galindo's Texas Barbecue, the beef and hog. Good stuff on there. Absolutely. I want to try Mrs. Dude's because hers is just naked, just salt. That's it. Mm. That's good as well. I'm just. That natural flavor of the pork just comes right through. But here's what I wanted to show you. You know, because I was talking earlier at the beginning about comfort foods. Well, guess what? Watch this. <laughs> now I have died and gone to heaven. Mmm. Wow. Everything about this just works. You totally get that rub that's on the pork and that beer cheese soup flavor. Mm. Um, together when they come together. Heck yeah. Let's try it just by itself. I mean, this has got comfort written all over it. And something that you could bring to a football party, an appetizer. Mm. Very good as well. That natural flavor of the meat and that cheese and beer and sausage just complement each other. You saw how we made it. Give it a try. Tell me how it goes. It just takes a little bit of time, but I'm telling you, it's going to be so cool when you just sit back and, and go, I made that. Sometimes I have to even remind myself, dude. You made this and it rocks. Share it with the world. And that's what you guys should do too. Make something like this, share it with the world. But don't forget to tell people where you got the idea from, right? All right, guys, take care. Peace. I love you. We'll see you on the next episode.